I think the guys are, are hungry. I think they're becoming more focused. I think it's a group with some pretty good senior leadership in Jawan and uh, Nate and Jordan Tanner. Uh, I think it's a core group of younger guys that are starting to figure out how hard we have to play and the level of commitment it takes to play at this level in our, and in our league. And more importantly, I think guys like Jordan Brunko have to step up. We have to even have like Corey Evers, who was in a reserve role last year, has to step up and take some ownership of our basketball program. Some of our younger kids have to uh, maybe get put into the fire a little bit earlier than we thought they may have in the past. Uh, so those guys, including with our current seniors, are going to have to really step up and become great leaders for us and, and set a tone for how we have to practice every day, how we have to kind of live our lives and how we have to act on and off the court. And I think they've done a pretty good job of that so far. You have to have a little luck along the way, uh, and you have to have really good players, and I think we have that. Uh, but you also have to have some guys that are committed to playing basketball and, and then going into each day, uh, whether it's an off-season workout, a weight workout, a practice session, uh, game time, pre-game, whatever the case may be, and hold themselves accountable to each other and, and, and to themselves. I think we should be really good. I mean, I think we have a, I should rephrase that and probably say, I think we have a chance to be really good. You know, everything has to stay in place. We have to be healthy. We have to play well. We have to take care of the basketball, take great shots, and continue running with our transition game and those types of things. But I think the group has a, has a chance to be pretty good. But you just have you different guys at different roles now, and some guys will assume uh, more of a scoring role, or we'll have to find a defensive stopper. We'll have to find a group that can rebound well. We'll have to find all of those adjustments are just made based on personnel because it's just a completely different team than we had the last couple of years. This season, uh, I'm expecting us to be towards the top of our league, uh, hoping to get back to the national tournament this year and uh, continue to improve on last year. Yeah, with our, definitely with our leadership and the guys who was uh, there last year, uh, you just see they, the fire in their eyes to get back. I added a couple of new junior college guys and uh, a local guy from uh, Des Moines area named Drew. Um, they're really going to help us a lot. Uh, we get them, get the chemistry, dove into each other, and we, those guys are contribute a bunch to the team. Ever since it ended, I just had a different mentality and a different approach to the offseason and the preseason. Coming into this year, I mean, I knew I had to do a lot more with that experience. So hopefully I can uh, rub off on the newer guys and show them what it takes to get to that level. I think the expectation is we need to be at the top. Um, right now we have a lot to work on still, but hopefully once we put all our pieces together, hopefully we should be at the top. That's where I expect us to be. I think our strength is our versatility. We have a lot of guys who can do different things, who can all do multiple things. I think that's going to uh, fare well for us this year.